Hello everyone, this is Brady with NVIDIA and today I'm going to be showing you guys how you can make a super cool compilation out of your existing photos and videos. We're going to be showing how you can stitch them all together as well as adding background music, text, and also transitions on an online free video editor called NVIDIA. If you guys are new to this channel and you guys want to have constant updates on how you can edit your videos and crazy good tutorials all using this website, you might want to hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you never miss a video. So once you've actually gone in the description and clicked on NVIDIA or just looked up NVIDIA.io on your internet, you can see that it's going to have a sign up button in the top right. All you have to do is click sign up, give your information, like I said it is completely free and once you're done with that, you're ready to go. Once you're done signed up, we're going to go to blank canvas because we're not going to be using any kind of template and you want to make sure you're actually doing this in the right style. So this would be something like TikTok videos, this would be like YouTube videos. So for this compilation, I'm going to actually be adding clips that are more like YouTube videos and it's going to load into the editor. Once it has loaded in, you're going to see these two default things. All you want to do is go ahead and delete these because we're not going to be using those at all. And you want to make sure you go to Upload Media, click this, and this is where you're going to upload all the files you're going to be using to edit your compilation. So now that you've actually uploaded your media, you just want to go ahead and drag and drop your first clip on here. Now what it's going to do is going to bring up this trim menu. Now you want to actually be wary of a couple things. So right here is where you can actually mute your audio for when you import your clip. Now with most compilations, you're actually not going to have background audio. You're going to have a full um, background music. So so you're not going to want your audio from your original clip. So you want to go ahead and mute it here. You obviously can keep it on if you're not actually putting any background music on. But for the sake of this video, we are. So I'm going to mute the audio clip. Here is the trim menu where you can actually make it fit a certain scene if you'd want to. Feel free to cut the end off if there's you know nothing going on or the beginning. Or if you even want to, you can go ahead and just click add section where you can obviously clip out middle parts if you need to. It's very, very straightforward. Also, if you want to make it faster in some areas, you can feel free to actually increase the playback speed. I'm actually going to go ahead and just keep all this just because I'm going to be using this full clip. So you want to just hit use full video and it's going to import it for you. Once you have that imported, we can actually see when we hit play here that my clip is going to play. It's actually just me playing some Apex Legends. Now for my next clip, before we actually show you how to sync them up, we're just going to go ahead and add it. You want to go ahead and hit this plus scene button, go to blank scene, and then hit, it's going to ask if you want a new scene. We're going to hit yes. It's going to bring up the exact same thing we did. You're just going to go ahead and repeat the process and drag that other clip in here. Now, if I actually go ahead and play this, you're going to see that there's going to be some default background music just right now. So obviously that's not going to really fit this um, genre of game, I guess. So we're going to show you how to actually change your background music. All you have to do is look at your timeline. You're going to see that this is your background music. You can simply click, go ahead and delete it. Now you have no background music, as you can see when we hit play. There's absolutely no sound on this video. All you got to do is actually go on the left bar here, click music, and there's tons and tons of genres to choose from. Over probably over 10,000 plus musics here on the NVIDIA screen. So feel free to take your time and choose one that really fits your montage for you so I actually went ahead and added some rock here as you guys can hear right now um, but for here this clip actually I do want audio on it because this kind of like my outro so all you have to do to actually turn your audio back on is go click on this go to edit you're gonna see that video edits going to pop up and it says volume off you can go ahead and turn it on so when I hit play you're going to be able to see that it can hear me over the background music. You can also mess with them by clicking the video, going to edit, going to volume, and you can turn your audio volume up or down or your background music up or down. So you can keep that background music going, but I also wanted them to hear me. I didn't want to be muted for that clip. Moving on, the simple way to do text on the screen is just going to this text icon here. You can use different text styles if you want to. You can even go ahead and use social media credits, things like that if you want. Um, but obviously for here, you can just add basic text if you want for heading, subheading, and you know body text. There's tons and tons of things to choose from. I'm just going to add a basic heading. For the final thing to have that smooth transition through clips, because right now, as you can see, there really is none, you want to go ahead and click here. And once you actually click here, you're going to see that these transition menus are going to pop up. It actually is displaying exactly what it does. So for here, you'll see that it slides in, a fade fades in, zoom in. I really like the zoom in, but honestly, the fade is going to look really good in a compilation. So I'm going to go ahead and throw that on here. And you will see that it actually will start working on the transition for you. It's going to import it automatically. So now that the transition is actually loaded, you guys are going to be able to see that it does exactly what it said it was going to do, and that is phase out. So as you guys can see, it did phase right out here, boom, into the other clip. Perfect transition for compilation, something like this. But once you're completely done with that, obviously you can just go to the top right. It's going to go to download and share. This export menu is going to be brought up. You just want to hit export, and your video will start exporting for you. While you're actually waiting to export, you can see that there is a share 
share video screen here where you can actually share the video to YouTube, Facebook, things like that right from a video or you can just feel free to download it and you're good to go. If you guys did enjoy this video, make sure of course smash that like button. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button up here with the notification bell. We also are going to have a playlist on screen for your, all your video editing needs so you guys can create powerful thumb stopping videos using NVIDIA completely free, very plug and play, takes little to no time at all. Well, that being said, I'm Brady with NVIDIA and I'll catch you guys in the next one.